My name is Wendy Andrade and I'm the Director of Youth Services for New Directions South Coast. This summer, New Directions partnered with the Mayor's Office to launch a new model for a summer enrichment program. A total of 41 youth aged 14 and 15 participated and were divided into five smaller groups to work on work-based learning activities supported by community partners. These groups are Artworks, Destination New Bedford, Fishing City Program, and two mass in motion groups, Healthy Community and Healthy Eating. You'll be hearing from these groups in a little bit. In addition to the project-based learning activities, all youth worked one morning a week on community service projects, including the Share the Harvest Farm at the Dartmouth YMCA, where 2,635 pounds of kale, peppers, cucumbers, and tomatoes were harvested by program youth and donated to food, local food pantries. Great job, guys. The program was funded by private donations and a grant from the Island Foundation, and all of the youth who started the program, completed the program, and received a stipend. Knowing firsthand how difficult it can be at times to engage young people, it really says a lot for the motivation and engagement of the staff and the programs and the innovation of the program, and of course the youth. I'd also like to commend the youth who participated in the program this summer. I'm sure there were a lot of days when this was not so easy, but you went outside your comfort zone, tried something new, met new people, and gained valuable skills that can't be learned in a workshop or a classroom. And for that, you should be very proud. Now I'm going to pass the mic over to Mayor Mitchell, who's going to say a few words and present the youth with their resolutions. All right. So, no, this microphone is just for cable, so you guys won't be able to uh, hear me any louder. But uh, uh, let me say a couple things. I will be brief because um, I can tell that the pizza is getting colder and the ice cream is getting warmer uh, by the minute. So we're going we're gonna to go through this as efficiently as possible. But I, uh, before we hand out the proclamations, uh, I just wanted to express my thanks to a lot of folks. This is a really... Uh, important program that has evolved over the last several years, first with Mayor Lang's administration and now mine. And I think it's really working uh, well under the leadership of, of New Directions, Brenda Francis and Jim Mathis, um, Wendy Andrade, and so many others who've, uh, who've pitched in over uh, the course of the summer. It's been a lot of work, but the idea behind it is this, to give uh, teenagers an opportunity uh, to do something very real and something uh, they can take with them, something they won't be able to gain in a classroom. That's real hands-on work experiences that you know, leave them with a real impression. So the project, the idea behind project-based learning, uh, well, it's many things, many ideas. The first is that you, know, you have an opportunity to, to dig into something that's not abstract, that's very real, and to use the skills you've, you've been able to develop uh, uh, over the course of your schooling. Um, but it, look, this is, uh, the, there's nothing like uh, learning by trial and error. So it gives kids an opportunity to try something, to problem solve, to plan, to prepare, to screw up a little bit, that's good. Uh, especially at your age, better screw up then uh, than uh, at my age. Uh, and then to learn from those experiences, to, to, uh, uh, to build something real and tangible that you can be proud of, um, and that's, uh, that's a great way to learn. And so we're really happy that, um, uh, that New Directions, uh, with the help of our sponsors, was able, uh, were able together uh, to, to put this uh, program together and to make it work. All the feedback I got over the course of the summer was positive, that kids were into it, they were, they were enthusiastic uh, about uh, their projects, about the people they worked with. And uh, if you have any doubts, just ask them, they're all here. Uh, most of them are here. Uh, but I wanted to say first to uh, all the students who participated in the program, um, congratulations on finishing it. Uh, my condolences on the end of the summer, you've got to go back to school now. Uh, it's just the way it is. Uh, but most of all, I commend you for taking charge of, uh, of your future, of your educational opportunities. You, you, by engaging in this program this summer, you didn't make a lot of money. You know, that's not what it's about. It's really about, uh, it's really about giving you an opportunity to build skills so that you are marketable 
uh, when you get done with high school or when you get done with college so that you can stand in front of an employer and say, this is what I did, and to project confidence, to project uh, a command of uh, a set of issues that they care about. So you putting yourself in a much better position to succeed in the long run, I, I commend you for making that decision at a very young age. That's terrific. To all the, uh, the volunteers, thank you for putting your time in the sponsors, and I have a list here, and I don't know if you were going to read the list, but I, I, uh, I came with a list because I don't want to forget anybody. Um, but uh, in addition to new directions of Veolia Water, John Karen and, and John Oley are right here. Uh, thank you for helping out. CDM Smith was a big, uh, uh, was a big contributor and has been over the course of uh, uh, the projects, over the course of the program's life. Um, you know, the WIB has, has been very helpful. Len Coriardi, Peter Muse, and everybody else at uh, Jim Oliveira at the WIB. Sid Wainer and Sons, Dias and La Palm, South Coast Media, uh, Great New Bedford Health Center, uh, the New Bedford Art Museum, where we are right now, played a huge role in, uh, in it. Uh, Artworks, Craig Dutra and the Community Foundation, uh, Mass in Motion, Kim Ferreira is here. Pauline Hamill has just left us not too long ago, but she was a big help. Uh, their project coordinators, Sarah Claremont and Julia Kantner. Lynn LaBerge and, and Deb Smook from the Artworks Mural Project. I don't know if I, don't know if I saw them here on the way in, but uh, Dagny Ashley, our tourism, our fabulous tourism director, right, Dagny? Uh, Crystal Cruz, Joan Halter, uh, Kim Barry in the Ocean Explorium, uh, uh, headed by uh, Abby Spargo and Tyler Wilkinson from my office, Christina Conley from my office. Uh, I know I've missed a few people along the way, and I, my, my apologies, but the point of all of it, and to run through the list of names, is that it took a real team effort, and that's what it takes to build community, that's what it takes to build, uh, to put our children in positions to succeed in the future, and that's, what's, uh, and that's what it takes to build a better future for, uh, for our city. So uh, I thank all of you for, uh, for contributing. Um, let's do it again next year. This was a big success this year. Uh, give us feedback. We want to improve every year. We want to, we want to raise our game. Um, and, uh, and so your criticism, constructive and otherwise, is welcome. Uh, but please, thank, I, I just want you to walk out here knowing that you did something good for the community, and I, and I really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. And now we're going to present the resolutions. First is Taya Badillo. I know you're here. Great. <laughs> William Barato. Emma Barton. Davia Brian. Bryce Brito. Ed Milson Centeo. Ashley Chanella. Leah Dillard. <laughs> Drew Fraga. <laughs> Owen Fraga. <laughs> Brandon Fernandez. Jacob Goldblatt. Isaac Manso. Carolyn Mingola. Stephen Pollard. Alyssa Rodriguez. Oh, 
sneaking up on us. <laughs> Alexis Santos. Eric Santos. Enrique Torres. And Kristen Vezina. Thank you. you gonna start the yeah. We're going to start the presentations now so you can be seated. And the first program to present will be Artworks. Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Deb Smook. I'm the Education and Outreach Director at Artworks. Uh, we were pleased to participate in the Mayor's Learn and Serve program this summer. As always, it's an honor. We especially like working with the youth in the community. So I'm not going to say a lot, except that the mural is so awesome. We took the family and friends over just before we came here to see it. It's the second floor of the Greater New Bedford Community Health Center. It's a 3D mural on three walls. But I wanted to thank um, everyone, as Mayor Mitchell had mentioned, and also Peter Georgopoulos from the Community Health Center. He helped to fund the mural um, at, along with the other funding that we got. So I'm going to pass the mic on to Ryan who was the art teacher for the program and he's going to say a few words and then our two talented students at the end of the line. So here you go Ryan. Uh, hi, I'm Ryan Santos. I'm a local artist. I was born in New Bedford and uh, uh, I was brought onto this project to help the kids uh, focus and put their ideas together to make a nice mural that was interesting and different than any other mural we've done uh, or that's in the city at all. So uh, I just wanted to uh, congratulate the kids. They did a great job. It was like 100% their idea. I was just there to, you know, push them in the right direction. I'll talk after. Uh, my name is William Barito. I'm from New Bedford. I go to Vogue. Um, the mural project was really fun. We got to be able to do what we wanted to do. We could kind of just paint whatever we wanted to. Like, it wasn't like somebody was telling us, you do this, you do that. We kind of like all put up our own ideas and we made it happen. And at the end of the day, it came out really good. And I think it was a good experience. It was really fun. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Alyssa Rodriguez. I'm 14 and I'm a freshman at Vogue. And I would just want to say that this project, it, it was worth it. It was... Just like he said, it was hands-on. It was completely us. We got the idea the first day. We wanted to show you community and, and diversity. But not only that, but we got the experience to express ourselves in the mural. We got the experience to go to the farm and help and donate all the food. And we even got to make new friends, which I love you, okay, just saying. And anyway, regardless, it was one of the best programs I've probably done in the summer. It, it definitely got me out of the house. In any case, it was an awesome program and I'm happy to have done it. Thank you very much. Thank you. The next program we're going to hear from is the Destination New Bedford group. Hello everyone, I'm Dagny Ashley, I'm the Tourism Director here in the city. Um, I just want to say I had so much fun the last six weeks with this group. They were so enthusiastic. Um, they put together a brochure in six weeks, which is amazing. It would have took me months to do this. But they did a brochure by kids, for kids, and it's promoting New Bedford. So when kids come to the city, they can see where there is to go, all the unique places to eat, um, how to get around. I don't know how they did this in six weeks, but they did an amazing job with the help of Nushin and Muse Designs, but this is all their work. Um, they designed everything from the logo, chose the pictures for the scavenger hunt, um, and points of interest on the map. So um, I won't go on any further because I want them to do the presentation. Um, this is Kristen, um, Isaac, and Edmilson. 
Thanks for showing off the people. I, that was my thing. All right, um, I'm going to redo that because you did it wrong. All right, um, I've been known as Ducky throughout this. Isaac and Handsome Ed Nelson. All right, throughout this, um, all right, for Destination of Bedford, Destination of Bedford brings tourists to the city. And tourists bring money. Tell me not, you all love money, right? Yeah, you got to love money. And all right, we had a lot of fun. We had to go around to places and pick out places. All the attractions, just pick out all the fun stuff and throw it into one map. And throughout that, we had to go to these places. And we made t-shirts. We learned how to make t-shirts. That was crazy. Um, all right, throughout this, we learned probably more than we ever thought we would. And thank God for Nusheen, because we wouldn't have completed this without her. Um, what else is there to say about this? Oh, man. That was nuts. We met a lot of people downtown. That was, that was one thing. All right, we worked a lot for um, the visitor center. That was pretty cool. Um, and we worked a lot for just right out in front, too. And people would pass by and just stare at us like, what are these kids doing? This is something different. You don't see kids walk around in Bedford cleaning things. Okay, that's not an everyday thing. That was, it was pretty funny the looks we got. That was like a prank and a half. Um, yeah, it's been really cool. I've met a lot of friends. We can't, those two, those two are cool. Um, do you guys want to say anything? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the Mish guy. Well, I would say if you can, go to Mrs. Dagny's office and go pick up a sticker and make money from New Bedford by promoting tourism. Yay. All right. Thank you. The next group we're going to hear from is Fishing City Pro Program. Um, the Fishing City Project was a two-part learning experience um, for my 10 students, fabulous students. And we had a science component and an art component. And what we did was we um, had a wonderful opportunity to go to the Ocean Explorium and we had um, marine biology um, science um, classes from this wonderful teacher, Sarah. And every um, time we went, she had really creative ways for the students to learn about food chain, about global warming. Um, it was a really terrific experience for them. And then the information that they got about the ocean environment informed the design for a six, six foot by 10 foot clay sculpted mural, which we did complete. There are still pieces that need to be fired and glazed. But this group, is a, uh, they are just incredibly hard workers. They're great learners. It's an amazing team of people to work with. I learned so much from them as well. So I just am um, very proud of them. And uh, the result is going to be that the um, completed piece will be installed on the face of the ferry, ferry terminal building um, on the um, on State Pier. So. Um, these are, um, I haven't really been looking at the uh, images, but the first day we went down to the docks and we drew, um, um, and then we also went to um, art galleries. We, we um, met with John Magnan. So I just want to say um, thank you to the um, New Bedford Art Museum, to the Ocean Explorium, to the city of New Bedford. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing out on all the artists that, that helped us um, you know, with the students, and special thanks to the students for being so fabulous. You guys are really great. And we have a little um, exhibit in the back with um, some of the individual fish that they made, uh, some of their really beautiful shell drawings, and then um, samples of the mural to come. So, thank you. The next group we're going to hear from is the Mass in Motion Healthy Communities. My name is Sarah Claremont and I work for Mass in Motion and I also was a leader for the Healthy Communities group. Um, so we kind of focused this group about how the built environment affects people's health and how the built environment can affect the health of a community. Um, most of my teens didn't even know what the built environment was when we started, but over the past six weeks I think that they've all gotten an in-depth edu education about what the built environment includes. Um, some of our projects included a lot of mapping activities. We did um, advocacy letter writing. And the biggest project was a photo voice project that we had teens go and look at New Bedford High School, a school that many of them went to, um, and kind of look at the infrastructure of the school. 
they got to present this at the end to someone from MassDOT as well as someone from the Department of Public Infrastructure within the city. And I'm actually going to ask one of my fantastic teams to present their work to you guys. So you can kind of see an example of what we kind of spent our six weeks working hard on. Hello, my name's Deva. She said I'm one of the teens that worked in her group. And as you can see here, these are some of the pictures that I took for our photo voice around New Bedford High School. Some of the things I pointed out, as you can see, a brightly painted crosswalk close by where many kids walk to school, which was a good thing about the environment around New Bedford High School. But then one of the bad things was the bush covering the sidewalk, forcing teens who are walking to and from school into the street. And then several other examples. So one of the coolest things that actually was able to come out of this project is that because they presented to some of the people who make these decisions within the community, I know for a fact that some of those examples, for example, like the bush in particular, is going to be hopefully cut back, which means that it'll be a safer area for people to walk to their high school, all because of the things that they saw and the decisions that they made to present. Um, so I thought the whole experience was really great. I hope my teens were great. Um, I thought they got really great experience presenting and you know, getting involved in their community. And I hope that everyone can kind of learn from them and also make a difference within their own community as well. All right, thank you. Thank you. And last but not least, Mass in Motion Healthy Eating. Hi, my name is Julia Kantner and I work with Mass in Motion as well and we um, today Taya and I are representing the Healthy Living, Healthy Eating group um, and there were eight of us total, eight students total in the group but today we just have Taya but she's a great representation of what they did and what they learned so we're happy to have her here today and what we did is during the week we went to six different parks and rec sites for their play in the park program and the teens on Monday would learn a different um, piece of curriculum about healthy living and healthy eating, for example, cutting down on sugary drinks or what, what a healthy snack is and examples of those things. And we went out and did taste tests in the community. And so Mondays they would learn all these things themselves and on Tuesdays and Thursdays they would go out to different sites within the city and teach these things to the members of the community that were showing up to the park sites. So they got to be really great role models within their community and active citizens contributing on a community level to um, the obesity epidemic. And so this poster here, if you want to hold a part of it, is an example of some of the reflection they did at the end of the um, program to talk about what they learned not only through work preparedness but also about how being involved at a community level can make a difference in people's lives and their health. So Taya, do you want to hold this for you? Talk a little bit about what you learned in the program. Um, in the program we did a lot of wonderful things with the kids and it was a lot of fun to go to the parks and get them to try new things and get a better lifestyle for themselves. Um, the kids were wonderful. It was the best time. They absolutely adored me. It was the cutest thing ever. And um, through the program, I learned a lot about responsibility. I learned um, how to eat and live healthy myself. Um, because when we would go out there and we would learn it, we wouldn't just learn it. We would just we practice it ourselves. And it was a great experience, and I think that this program was wonderful. Thank you. So as you can see, we had five fantastic programs and 41 fantastic youth that really did some great work this summer. Great job, guys.